Rediscover home learning with PLDT Home Academy. Learn science with mind movers and tinker with tech. Kamusta? I'm Mind Mover Abby from the Mind Museum. This edition of Mind at Home is part of the PLDT Home Academy. In this series, we will tinker with technology to bring you all the wonders of experimenting with your hands and your minds. Your creativity is the limit. And for this episode, we'll be working something wonderful with paper. Kids, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word hovercraft? Is it float? Fly? Glide? A hovercraft is a vehicle that glides over different surfaces by sitting on a cushion of air, which is usually produced by powerful fans. Hovercrafts are actually used to carry people and heavy objects over water, land, mud, and even rough surfaces. It can be used in rescue missions if there are floods, in racing games, and even for everyday transport. That sounds like some big machines, right? But really, you can make one with just a piece of paper. Get or cut out a square piece of paper. Fold it diagonally so that you'd get a triangle. Fold it in half again along the topmost point of the triangle. When you open it, you should be able to see a crease in the middle. Bring the left side and the right side towards the middle line. Now it looks like a kite, right? Fold those flaps outwards, halfway for the final step. Now lift these flaps up so you can get a Z or an S shape and turn the sides over to create a pocket. Once you're done, you now have your own paper hovercraft. Having one paper hovercraft is fun, but having more is better. Let's rev up our engines and set up a paper hovercraft race. The mechanics are pretty simple. Players will move their hovercraft along the set path and back to the starting point. If the hovercraft falls, they need to go back to their starting point. Players are not allowed to use any other body part to control the movement of their hovercraft. The player who finishes first will be the winner. We can better understand the paper hovercraft through Newton's third law of motion, the law of interaction. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When we blow air into the pocket, the air moves downward. The air pushes down on the surface, and the surface reacts by pushing the air back upwards. The air gets trapped in the pocket, creating a cushion of air which lifts up the paper hovercraft. The air we blew in also helps the hovercraft move forward. I hope you had fun with making your own paper hovercraft. See you in another episode of Mind at Home. Like the PLDT Home Academy videos and follow us and our partner PLDT Home on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at The Mind Museum and at PLDT Home. Stay safe and stay curious. Bye! Rediscover home learning with PLDT Home Academy in partnership with Cartoon Network and The Mind Museum.